Hello everybody out there in the wine world. This is Bill Elsie, the sommelier with wines.com, and today we have a special guest in the lounge. This is Kathy Burton, the owner of Speedy Creek Winery, and today we are going to uh, taste through a selection of her wines and learn about uh, the winery that they have uh, coming from the Knights Valley ADA in Sonoma. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Bill. I'm happy to be here. Great. Well, we're happy to have you. So um, let's talk a little bit about Speedy Creek Winery. I that. What's the history there? Speedy Creek is in um, Knights Valley, as you said, and we bought our property in 1986. So when we bought the property, it was just all raw land. And since then, it has been my husband's um, labor of love. So we are like Ma and Pa Kettle on the farm. Mm -hmm. He put, you know, when I was 40, I got a giant uh, yellow tractor for my birthday. Oh, really? So okay, nice. So diamonds, yeah. I got a tractor, right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, but we farm sustainably. So we have 22 acres of um, mountain-grown fruit. It's all sustainably farmed. And we actually have um, five ponds on the property that we collect uh, rainwater with. Oh, nice. Okay. And, um, one of the ponds is blocked off so that we can share our property with um, the wildlife that we live with. Okay, so um, so Kathy, you all brought the property in 1986. Yeah. And then um, how long was it until you uh, had either established vineyards or started planting the grapes? So we bought the property in 1986 and it was all raw land. And um, both Dave and I come from Italian heritage, so we wanted to have some wine. And he's like, you know, I want to make a little wine. And I, I wanted, and I, my only comment was, let's just make a wine that we can drink, right? I don't really care about anything else. Let's make a wine that we can drink. So um, he started um, talking with consultants. And at that time, there was um, Behringer in Knights Valley, which I'm sure you know, and they're still around, right? Absolutely. But in the, um, in the 80s, and er certainly the early 90s, people weren't planting on the mountains. Mm -hmm. You know, it was all pretty much valley floor. Valley floor yeah. So we had um, consultants come in, and they said, you know, we can't do anything here, you can't do anything here. And um, finally, in 90, he met, in the early 90s, he met Robert Mondavi and the Mondavi organization. And it was at a time when Mr. Mondavi was starting the um, La Familia label, mm -hmm. which was all of his it favorite um, Italian bridles. And um, they came up and loved our property because it was like they got the fact that great wine comes from mountain-grown fruit. Right. And so we planted their favorite um, Italian, or Mr. Mondavi's favorite Italian bridle, which was um, the Sangiovese. Sangiovese. We bought his favorite clone, and um, the Zin or Primitivo, mm -hmm. and so that's how we started. It was an awesome, unbelievably awesome experience. Yeah, he had yeah. some great, uh, uh, great help to have that kind of that, that guidance. Oh, they were mentors. And that, yeah, and absolutely. They were, you know, they were so serious about growing the best fruit. Right. I mean. It all know. starts in the vineyard. It all starts in the vineyard. And just like food, you know, you can't make a good meal if you don't have um, really right. great ingredients to start with. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, the most talented chef, you know, yeah. can't, make a, can't yeah. make a dynamite meal without the best ingredients. So, um, and so you've been in, in production. Uh, what are you um, producing now? And, uh, and then, like, what's your like, total, total production? So we have um, 22 acres, and we... We still sell some of our grapes as vineyard designated. Mm -hmm. So we still sell to um, high-end wineries and they will sell Speedy Creek wine, or Speedy Creek, you know, Sangiovese, mm -hmm. Speedy Creek Cab, things like that. Yeah. And um, we make small lots, 15, 1800 cases. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a tasting room on site where customers will come in and taste, or is it pretty we don't. much just no? Just we don't. It's pretty much through friends and things only. like that. And yeah, it's like mom and pa kettle, yeah. you know. Right. It's definitely um, life on the vineyard. Yeah. So as we were talking a little bit earlier, um, you were explaining to me kind of the the layout of where your your vineyards are located in proximity to um, the Sonoma County and Napa County line. Why don't you go ahead and explain to me a little bit more about the kind of the orientation of where you're located? So Knights Valley is a very small appellation, and we are between, right over the Napa-Sonoma border, between Calistoga, Napa, and Alexander Valley. Okay. So it's a, you know, a small little stretch there, and it's a very quiet little um, appellation.
station. And for us, we're on Highway 128. We're two and a half miles up a dirt road, so we're way out in the mountains, so it's all mountain fruit. And if you were to make like a triangle, we would be here. Peter Michael is right across from us, so okay. we can look over to their vineyard. And then Chateau Montalene is on the other side. Gotcha. So you've got like this couple yeah. triangle. Okay, a couple of orientation points. Serious there. area yeah. for um, red wines. Right, it's right. A great red wine area. Because um, of the, the climate, it allows the, the reds to ripen fully and truly express themselves, or why do you think that it's a perfect spot? Certainly that, and also, I mean, for us, we're right across from um, uh, Mount St. Helena. Mm -hmm. So the um, soil is is perfect for our um, perfect for our grapes because we have like you know you have um, these giant white rocks that are little literally ounces so it's this you know very volcanic ashy um, ashy kind of soil right too. that's not really that super dense type of yeah so the, type and of the soil. grapes are stressed right. so it's almost it's almost like dry farming in a way because right. you know, it doesn't hold because they have to really one, yeah. work hard.